Congrats to Jay-Z. Uh, Max, do you think, excuse me, congrats to LeBron. Did I just say congrats to Jay-Z? Go ahead. I don't know. Is Jay-Z right to call out Phil? I don't think it's an issue of right or wrong. I mean, the idea of posse, when Phil, when Phil said posse, LeBron used it really as a teaching moment about assumptions that are tied to race in his view, and it was a good moment to do that. But I don't know that Phil Jackson meant it that way. Um, and, and I guess that's what challenging assumptions are. But yeah, you didn't mean it that way necessarily, but you should consider what it, you know, the, the message it conveys. I think Phil was using posse interchangeably with click, crew, whatever. Um, but, but, but still, the point was well taken that LeBron made. To me, the issue is, which way is the shade, you know, who's the shade being thrown at? And here it's going toward Phil. Usually, or at least back in the day, when Phil had the best players in the world and was winning championships and would, would do his Sun Tzu thing, you know, uh, uh, undermine everything in the land of your enemies, the press would wind up talking to the enemies about the statement. Phil didn't have to worry about answering question after question about it because he was a master manipulator. But here, LeBron threw it right back at Phil. And who's the one who has to answer questions about it now? And which way is the shade going? It's going on Phil Jackson. He's the one who consistently gets asked questions, who, where people are making comments publicly like this, etc. And I think it's evidence that LeBron James, as I said last week, has outfilled Phil. This is a guy who has mastered now the psychological and emotional component of the NBA, which he didn't have earlier in his career, obviously, when he choked away the finals four consecutive fourth quarters, you know, in Miami against the Mavericks. But here we see him taking Steph Curry's heart. I don't know how else to say it in the finals last year. I, I, it gives me no pleasure to say that about Steph, but that's what I saw happening. Pumping up Kevin Love when he thought he needed to do that. Figuring it out with Kyrie when the moment came. Um, and here, guys throwing shade at him. I'm going to outfill Phil Jackson. This is one of the greatest athletes you'll ever see in his glory right now, well, LeBron James. I can respect where you're coming from, Mac. Max. I'm going to respectfully disagree. Um, listen, I don't think Phil Jackson is a racist or anything like that. Uh, but Isaiah Thomas alluded uh, uh, to racially insensitive rhetoric. Um, I remember I brought up my man Brandon Tierney, who works for CBS. He and I have been dead friends for years. I respectfully disagree with him, just like I'm disagreeing with Max. It doesn't mean uh, that I think they're wrong per se. And I certainly know that guys like yourselves are incredibly sensitive, uh, particularly the things that affect my community. And I deeply appreciate that as a friend. I thank you for that. But I'm going to tell you why Phil was wrong. What Jay-Z alluded to is essentially the subliminal comments that people make that disguise and gloss over things that touch along racial lines. And that's exactly what Phil Jackson did. And I can prove it. Phil Jackson, Michael Jordan is the greatest player in my mind that ever lived. Michael Jordan is a six-time champion. Michael Jordan also has a guy by the name of Fred, Whit Fred Whitfield, who's an accomplished uh, executive in this game. Rod Higgins, who's a former GM in this business, one of his tight friends. Charles Oakley, one of my brothers. Uh, these are just a few of the guys that Michael Jordan has considered friends, World Wide West and others. I never heard Phil refer to, refer to them as a posse. I never heard Phil to, res to, 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 to refer to Shaq's crew with Uncle Jerome and Mark Stevens and the rest of the crew. I never heard him refer to them as a posse. I never heard him say anything about who Kobe Bryant hangs with. So in essence, what we're talking about is a Phil Jackson that decides to articulate an elocutor position about these individuals as it pertains to somebody who didn't play for him, who didn't deliver championships. But you made sure not to say it about those who do deliver you championships. I don't believe that's a coincidence. I don't believe that's an accident. I'm not saying it's anything racial. What I am saying is that it was clearly meant to be disrespectful to take a dig at LeBron James and Jay-Z taking an opportunity to articulate the position of those of us emanating from a black community is more, is more than appropriate. Because what words did he say, Max? What words did he say, Molly? Yeah. After he brought up the word posse to allude to Phil Jackson, he said, we know where we come from. Mm -hmm. Then he goes on to talk about Rich Paul, Randy Mims, Maverick Carter, and he highlighted the fact that they were accomplished. Why? Because he wanted to remind the world what LeBron was trying to say. We ain't just some dudes 
hanging out with each other. And oh, by the way, we rode the coattails of LeBron James. Well, LeBron James facilitated opportunities for us so we could get to shine because the system itself doesn't lend itself towards ultimately giving us those opportunities. If anybody knows this, it's Phil. And so right. for Phil to say that Max. about LeBron James, he knew what he was doing. It has nothing to do with it. May not, it may not be racial or whatever, Steve, but he wait, knew what he was doing. Max, this is what before, I think. Hold on, they, Max, one second before you go, because I want to add more context. Remember, though, when he made these comments also, he was certainly throwing shots at LeBron because then he tried to misconstrue the scenario where he was trying to hang out with his boys. It was a Wednesday and have Thanksgiving when, when he was really trying to have his team over Thanksgiving. So he was And a team playing waiting. Yes, right. and that's, all of that. So, so there was more to it. And he was definitely trying to take Phil shots at him. That's just bad mouthing the opposition. That's what he does. Now, I want to, I want to, um, but it's wrong to hold on, Max. It's wrong. I, I want to get to you. It's wrong to just it's attacking to simplify his it character. like that. Come on, Max. It's more than that. It's no, not just well, going after the competition. It's not no, just but doing that. No, that's what he does. He undermines the competition not in that sometimes way, Max. by attacking their character. Yeah, yes. Yeah, that, and that, and that way, Max. It's not working right now. Let me tell you what I. No, it's not. That's my point. Yeah. LeBron is is in control of the situation. Good for him. Um, it, it, this is what I think Phil Jackson was guilty of. In his, in his, like his idea, his strategy undermined the opposition. What tactics did he use? Well, the tactics were to point to something that he has experienced, I'm sure, in the NBA, which is when you see a player and some people that he grew up with, generally they're enablers and hangers on, etc. And what Phil Jackson was guilty of was generalizing. When you want to make that point, you need to be specific. And Phil was not looking at the details. LeBron James doesn't have hangers on around him. He has people to whom he has afforded opportunity, and those who have excelled given that opportunity are around LeBron James, and they're there on the merit. That's not generally the way it, it appears to me. Phil Jackson has seen it work. So he's guilty here of generalizing about LeBron, no, I'm not, no, not Max. paying attention to detail, and that is cousin to stereotyping. Max, you want, want me to tell you what Phil Jackson is really give, guilty of, if we really want to just close this out? You want me to tell you what he's really, really guilty of? He's guilty of what a lot of black folks suspect about what white folks think of us. You're comfortable with us being the show, but you ain't comfortable with us owning it. LeBron James owns the LeBron James brand. LeBron James may be worth close to a billion dollars. LeBron James and that crew of his that you call posse, and you did so in a derogatory fashion with derogatory intent, albeit probably not racial, but you it, it might have been, we don't know. But the do you think is, that was what, Phil Jackson's I, no, motivation? I, I think Phil Jackson's motivation was not as simple as you saying it's the competition. In other words, Phil Jackson it's an, has it's not some an kind accident. of it's Phil not an Jackson accident that he went as far as he did. Phil Jackson's too small for that, Max. I'm saying, does, does he, are you saying that unconsciously even, Phil Jackson may have some kind of resentment about young African-American men having ownership stake? I don't it know. doesn't seem Hold that on, way to minute, me. Wait a minute. I don't know that. What I do know is him bringing up the team plane Calculated. and how they had to wait for LeBron, how sure, Spolster needed wants to, to call. Paint him as a diva. How Spolster needed to call Riley, et cetera, et cetera. Leading up to his comments, Phil is too intelligent, has been around too much, too many black folks. He knows how that would be interpreted, he didn't care. That's not an accident. Mm. Uh, there was more I, to I this I find it hard to believe comment. he would... Okay, go ahead. Well, well, just well, because it's hard just, to believe not... don't mean you can't believe it. It just means that it's hard. Right. But don't well, mean that you'll believe it. It means it's, it hasn't persuaded me, but I hear you. Okay. All right. All right, we'll leave it there. Tom Brady wasn't happy with Julian Edelman last night and let him know about it. Does Tom Brady get a pass for his actions? That debate next.